Well, congratulations, Sandra, on winning the APQS Best Movable Machine Workmanship Award at this year's AQS Quilt Week in Spring Paducah. And my goodness, what a beautiful quilt. Thank you very much. It was a labor of love. Um, I actually started working on it about four years ago. And uh, being a novice at design, I used influences from the experience I had working as a Baltimore uh, album artist. I had been making Baltimore album-style quilts for about, oh, I guess about uh, 20 years at that point. And I decided to try designs uh, on my own. Uh, sometimes I used historical influences, sometimes um, a photograph in uh, a, a magazine of flowers w- would inspire me to try something like that. Um, it, just lots of different influences uh, through the years that I think came out through the work. Uh, and so you called your quilt Seasons of Life? Yes. And so, uh, and so did you arrange it so that it covered different periods of your life, or was it really more on seasons? It's really more on seasons. If you start at the uh, blocks in the upper left-hand corner, you can see that that has kind of a spring influence. The first corner up there has strawberries in it and then a rabbit with some foxgloves. And um, you you move around to the right and you start to get into summer uh, kind of influences with blackberries in that corner. Then moving around to the lower right, you you can definitely see autumn autumn leaves a squirrel in a in an oak tree um and then around to the bottom uh it, it goes into the winter season so it kind of is circular um when i talk about life i do mean both the botanical and you know the little animals and there's some um you know moth and bees you know and other little things that make their way into the work well, yes, and so um, and so you're Sandra Mullen, and I know that Chris Spray did some work on this. Did she do the quilting? She did all of the quilting. Um, I asked her when I was probably about oh three quarters of the way done with the quilt. It suddenly re- I realized that the magnitude of the work was going to require an amazing, amazing quilt maker. And Chris has done other pieces for me. She doesn't do a lot of work for other people. She had this particular quilt on her long arm for uh, just about 13 months. Um, And I believe it's all ruler work and hand-guided quilting. Certainly, between your beautiful applique and embellishments and her quilting, they go together very nicely, don't they? They do, and the nice thing about that is that I did, I was able to pop into her studio um, you know, on occasion and see the work and comment, and I felt that the work, her quilting work, um, made the quilt a masterpiece. Uh, she used the uh, Circle of Roses block um, designs that I had done for the inspiration for the roses that surround the center medallion in that green uh, silk, and it was just an incredible, striking um, rendition of that. Uh, very subtle, but it plays off that block, and it just gives that particular texture just so such an amazing uh, pop. Well, and so I have to ask you, Sandra, have you uh, entered the AQS Quilt Week contest before? I did. Um, this is my third entry in AQS. I entered Spring Paducah the la- last uh, year. Uh, I did not ribbon on a small art quilt, uh, but I was thrilled to get in. I entered AQS Grand Rapids, and I did get an honorable mention there for an art quilt. Um, I was producing those pieces while Chris had my big quilt on the frame, and I was just doing, trying some other things. Okay. So this is my, my third entry into AQS shows and my first uh, really major award in my lifetime. So you just need to say that you need to encourage people to, if they enter and and don't get in, they need to continue entering because eventually, hopefully, they will. And once you've entered, you just need to keep entering because you never know when your quilt's going to be at the top of the heap. Well, and the more important thing, that's all true, but the more important thing is the more work that you produce, the better you're going to get just by practice. 
Well, we hope that we will see more quilts with you, and uh, I hope next time you'll be able to come to the show and and enjoy the the process of being able to stand in front of your quilt and tell people about it. Yeah, me too. That was the biggest biggest disappointment of this week was uh, not really being able to get there in time and uh, feeling uh, like I missed out on all of that celebration and how disappointing it was not to be there. But I'm so proud of the work. I'm so proud of the fact that it's in the museum. Uh, I know that that work will outlive me, and that's an amazing feeling of accomplishment. That's right. And your quilt uh, went to the National Quilt Museum, and they probably can see that there right now. Yes, and and I, you know, I've already heard from the curator there, and she says that it's getting a lot of attention. So well, that is that's a wonderful feeling. Well, congratulations again, and we can't wait to see another entry from you, Sandra. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate that you took the time to talk to me. Okay.